Good morning, lads. How are we? Good to have you online. Um, this morning, lads, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the dihedral angle by auxiliary. Now, dihedral angle, very common term that you hear in DCG. Um, if we just have a quick look there, you'll see I've listed the topics that dihedral angle is typically uh, linked to. Uh, one would be coordinate geometry. Second would be surface geometry. And the other one would be oblique planes. Now, it could come up in other areas as well in an exam situation. So don't just lock it into that area. But what you'll find is what we're doing today will apply at least to three topics. OK, so what is a dihedral angle? Well, it is an angle, but what specifically is the angle? It's the angle that is created between two planes or surfaces that are intersecting. OK, and you can see this lad down here. He's very happy because now he knows what a dihedral angle is. So what we want to do is we want to determine once we have our plane set up or once we have our two surfaces. And by the way, you don't need to have any specific coordinates so long as you have two surfaces in the, the case of this example that have a line of intersection, you can proceed to find a dihedral angle, okay? So as you see, I have the planes ABC and ABD set up, okay? And you can see here, I've highlighted in the elevation my line of intersection, which is the line AB. And you can see here in the plan view, okay, that I have the line of intersection highlighted as well, AB, okay? And that's important because we're going to be heavily reliant on that particular line for all of the subsequent work that's going to follow to find the dihedral angle. Now, as you can see here in the elevation, I have the planes in different colors. I have it pink for one and blue for another. And you can see as well in the elevation, the vertical plane, I have that colored in yellow. And in the plan view, the horizontal plane, I have colored in around orange. Okay, now if you're colorblind, I apologize. But this is to show you the links into the next two views that are going to follow. Because when we're finding that dihedral angle by auxiliary, okay, and this is a coordinate geometry example, we have two planes, ABC and ABD. They share a common line, AB. AB is the line of intersection. We have the first thing, which is to draw the elevation and plan, which I've done already. The next thing is to identify the line of intersection, which I have done. This is the line here and here, okay? Same line, two different views. And then the third thing then is to draw the auxiliary elevation to obtain the true length of the line AB. So this is my next step. So for me, what I want to do is I want to use my line of intersection in plan to determine my next view. So in the case of an auxiliary view, when we project from plan, we take the measurements from elevation. That means that this auxiliary view that we're creating here is actually going to be another elevation. Because we're taking all these heights and so on and we stepped them out, that means that this is an elevation. You can see I've lightly shaded the area yellow here because essentially this is just another view, another angle to look at the elevation of the object so we can determine the true length of this line, this line of intersection. Once we get the true length, we can then proceed on and we can find the dihedral angle. Okay, so we'll move it on from here. I get my equipment. Lads, just a tip, you know, always keep the pencil sharp. Your equipment, keep it nice and clean, okay? We don't want any dirt because it's going to dirty the page, okay? So I'll just leave both of those there for the moment. I am going to draw these lines in with a colored pen, guys, for the moment, because I want you to be able to see the lines, all right? Now, so I have the X1, Y1 set up, and the first crucial bit of information here is that auxiliary elevation, that X1, Y1 line, is parallel to the line of intersection here in the plan view, okay? So the line here is parallel to this line here. Why is that? Well, when we set the auxiliary, when we target a specific line, for example, the line AB, if we set up an auxiliary view parallel to that line, what we get is the true length of this line in the view that we're going to create. And that's what we want here in this first step to get the dihedral angle, to get the true length of that line here, AB. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my side and set squares now to project out. And you can do them whatever way you want, lads. So I'm going to take the line first here, B, project it out. Don't worry about the length of the line, just project it on out. I have pre-measured some of the material here, lads, so you'll see that mine should be landing in certain spots. Now, 
Now, I'll put a few indication arrows here just to let you know that that's the direction I have gone in, just in case you're looking back over. Okay. Now, I want to join up those planes as per the colors that I would have originally assigned to the planes in the first place. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to join up the points for the plane ABC, and they were pink. Okay. So I'm going to join them up. Of course, before I do that, I want to label those points out in this view. And it's very important to label, lads. Don't un underestimate the power of labeling. A, C, D, and B. Okay. So I have the points labeled. Now I'm going to join them up. So A, B, and C. That's going to be the pink one. Just join A and B first. Going to get my blue pen and join A, B, and D. And then the line of intersection, I have it actually as a green line there. It mightn't appear that green to you at home, but it is. So now I'm going to join A and B there. Okay. And that is the true length. of we'll call it l o i a b okay l o i meaning line of intersection okay now fellas what i want to do here before i move on is i want to actually color in those planes and you know how i am with color all right so we're just going to not going to go too mad i just want you to be able to look back and that this doesn't look like a whole lot of lines on the page, that you can see surfaces and planes as we're working through the different views. And you can make the relation between one plane and another, and that makes everything a little bit easier. Now, in an exam situation, you might not necessarily have the time to do this, but don't worry, the examiner is going to figure all the stuff out that you put on the page anyway. And a bit of pink here. Here we go. So there's my two planes. I'm just going to shade around the outside of them just with a bit of yellow, just because I want to highlight, guys, that this view is an auxiliary elevation. So therefore, this auxiliary view represents a view of the two surfaces on the vertical plane. Okay. And you might think, well, how is that? If the vertical plane is here, how is it here? Well, guys, we're all we're doing is we're looking at the object from a different angle and we're obtaining the view of it. And it just so happens that this time, it's an auxiliary elevation. So there we go. Now we have that. So where are we going from here now? So what we want to do, guys, is we want to take this true length of the line AB. Now this line is of, as I said, importance to us in each of the views that we obtain. And we have one more view that we want to obtain now to find our dihedral angle. And that view is going to be an auxiliary plan view. And you see down in this area here, okay, I have it slightly orange, okay? And that's representing the actual uh, horizontal plane because the view we obtain here is going to be an auxiliary plan view, okay? And that would be technically on a horizontal plane, okay? Now, as we move through that, what we want to figure out is, well, how are we going to set up our X and Y one for this auxiliary view? where we're we going to take the measurements from, and what's the relevance of the true length of the line AB. In this view here, the true length of the line AB is going to appear as a point view, okay? And we'll get to that when we actually start to take the measurements. We'll be able to see, okay, now we can see where that's going to be a point view, and it's going to be the center point for our dihedral angle, okay? Because once we have the two points together as a coinciding with one another, we can then find the other two points, C and D, and then if we join them up, we actually find the dihedral angle, okay? Now, first things first, let's get back to the technical matters. We want to draw an X2, Y2 line that's perpendicular to the, to the line of intersection AB here in the auxiliary view that we have. So I've already pre-drawn this line very lightly. I'm just gonna heavy it in, X2, Y2 
two, and this is auxiliary plan, and x2, y2 is perpendicular, this is our little perpendicular symbol here, to TL, which is true length, LOI, line of intersection, AB, which is the points that are on that line. Okay, so with that said, we're going to project down at a right angle from the points here, A, B, C, and D, in the auxiliary elevation into the auxiliary plan view. We're going at a right angle to the X2, Y2 line. So again, I have all the points pre-marked down here. So I'm going to use my marker now to highlight those lines that I've already pre-marked that are at a right angle. Here we go. Of course, A and B, they're lining up together now. And then finally, point D, which is probably going to run right down just slightly below where my actual page is. There we go. Now we can see that in there. Okay. So again, the measurements here now, where are we taking from? In this view, we took the measurements from the elevation as said, and we stepped them out. In this view here, we take them from the X1, Y1 line back into the plan view. So for example, when I'm doing this, just get my com compass. Say, for example, point C, there's the construction line for C, the projection line on the X1, Y1, measure back to C. Take that distance and step it out. And when you step that out, just mark point C straight away, okay? Then I'm going to take points A and B, and you'll notice here that A and B are going to be the same distance, okay? Why is that? Well, the X and Y1 was parallel to the line of intersection AB. So that means that they're both going to be the same distance there. And that's how we actually get the point view. You can see that A and B now, they share the same measurement and the same line, and that gives us the point view of A and B, and they mark that in, okay? You can see that relationship right there. And then point D finally, there's the projection line for D. X1, Y1, needle of the compass on the X1, Y1 line, measure back to D and step it out from the X2, Y2 line. And again, once you've located the point, write D straight away. Now, all I have to do here is join the lines to make the angle. So I'm joining point C to the point AB, and I'll join that with pink, just to represent now that we have an edge view of this plane here. And then I'm going to join from A, B to D. And that gives me an edge view this plane here. So essentially, guys, when we find the dihedral angle, what we're getting is we're getting the line where the angle is as a point view, and we're getting the two planes either side as edge views. Okay? And the whole lot together gives us the dihedral angle. And we often use this symbol here, little theta, symbol uh, and I would always represent it like that sometimes I'd be asked to measure it, so I would use my protractor to do that and I like to as a small detail just indicate the angle there the main angle there that we have okay and that makes it a little more presentable then I'll get my colors I'm just going to kind of highlight the angle here as a bit of a green okay just so we can quickly identify that aspect. And I'll also use my pink here just to highlight the line around the edge view of the surface, A, B, C. And then I'll use the blue to highlight around the line. And I'm not going very heavy with the colors, guys. Nice and light. There you go, A, B, D. Now, because that's a plan view, I'm going to highlight all around that with my orange color and pencil because it's orange in the horizontal plane, plan view. And again, all this is just 
presentation so you understand, you know, what's what in terms of the views and how they're created. And again, as I say, there's no need for you to go into this particular level of detail when you're actually in an exam. Or here, for the purpose of revision, we'll do. Okay, so now you can see here, I have a nice representation of my dihedral angle. And of course, the final step there would be to actually write in beside it, dihedral angle. Okay, I like to use a little hashtag symbol for some reason. So, and I'll highlight that with a bit of yellow. So guys, quick recap. Can I get all this stuff out of the way? This is now my complete drawing. This is my elevation, my plan view. In, in determining the dihedral angle, what I did was I identified the line of intersection in the elevation and the plan view. I focused on the plan view. I could have done everything off the line up here just the same. Plan view tends to work a little bit easier with the page. So set up my auxiliary elevation with an X1, Y1 that was parallel to the line of intersection in B. Projected out at a right angle through that line. Took the measurements from the elevation and stepped them out in this view. That view gave me the true length of the line AB. When I have a true length of a line, I can set an, auxilir uh, an auxiliary view up to that at a right angle. So you can see my X2, Y2 line here. Okay, that's going to give me my auxiliary plan view. Okay, that X2, Y2 perpendicular to the line of intersection here in the auxiliary elevation. Project true at a right angle from each of your points. Take the measurements from the X1, Y1 line back into the plan view. Take those measurements. Step them out off your X2, Y2. That will give you an edge view of the surface ABC and an edge view of the surface ABD. And it also gives you a point view of the true length of the line of intersection, meaning that that would be the center of the angle. That angle that is created between the edge views of both planes and the point view of the line AB is our dihedral angle. And that is the angle created between two planes or surfaces that are intersecting. Thanks very much for your time today, lads. That will conclude the lesson.